Okay. We've got all of them. Oh! Oh, it opens. Okay. So it was a door. Oh, what's inside? A trash can! Lore! Hey guys, and welcome to GT Not Live, where we are this close, this close to being done with this game. Maybe, I don't know. I, I do know at this point we are definitively the final people playing this game, because we are slow as balls. Uh, are balls slow? Yeah, slow rolling balls, right? Yeah. This is the first time I've seen you in, in so long, and this is how you choose to start the video. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen my hair? I'm a, I'm a mess today. I uh, We drove... Because we drove up to Ohio for the holiday, we drove back down, uh, and so it was, and then we drove to Pennsylvania to see my grandparents, and so it was four hours to PA, an additional seven hours down, and that was like three days after we had already done like an eight and a half hour drive, so we've done about like a day's worth of like drive time in the last like three, four days. It's been a lot. It's been a lot, and it's the holidays, and you know how the holidays are with people, but uh, anyway, so it's been a lot. Right. Um, so naturally, our balls slow. Yeah, so naturally, uh, it's got me thinking about the speed of balls, gotcha. relative speed of balls. Uh, you, you know, it's, speaking of uh, visiting my grandparents, sorry, that's why my, I'm all disheveled today. I'm just like, I'm like, I could comb my hair or I could not and just live my life. And that's what I'm doing today. I'm just like bedhead, whatever. There was a bunch of fans who saw me in Moe's Southwest Grill because uh, it's Ollie's favorite restaurant. That's where I took him for lunch today. And... They're like, can't wait to see you continue security breach, so shout out to you guys. Uh, thanks for stopping. And also, I'm like, I'm sorry that my hair is a hot mess for your photo. And they're like, it doesn't matter, this is great. Um, so they're excited to see this, so this one's dedicated to you guys. Uh, anyway, that's why I'm a hot mess. But Matt, I, I, I do have to tell you, my grandmother loves you. Me? Yes, my grandma your, loves you. I, don't have, I haven't met your grandma. No, but she has watched <laughs> all of this. <laughs> All of this she has consumed. I'm she so sorry. she is such a fangirl of you, Matt. Uh, she is such a fangirl. She asked if you came out to for St. Jude with us, Aww. if you appeared on camera at any point. Mm. She asked at any point, have you appeared on camera? <laughs> she was all in on Mirror Matt's business. She's like, that Mirror Matt, I like him. <laughs> that is so sweet. Yeah. She's I like, like your grandma. Uh, yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, just you know nothing about my grandma. Well, Don't like you use her name well, without like knowing her. her? <laughs> Mima? It's not Mima. I don't call her Mima. I'm not like 70. That is so sweet. Yeah, no, she's a big fan of yours. She's like, she's like, and he's so good, and you have such good banter, and I mean, let me pat myself on the back. You have such good banter with him, and he's, he bounces off banter. you. Uh, we do. Yeah. Uh, she's like, oh, good. he was slow to begin with, but he's, he's into it now. <laughs> I'm like, well, we've got to warm up, yeah. you know. Well, thanks, Matt's grandma. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> yeah. So shout out to my, also, this one's dedicated to my grandma. And her name is Joan. You can thank her, Joan. Do you call her Grandma Joan? Uh, no, I just call her Grandma. But my but staff calls her uh, Joan. Grandma Joan or Joan. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh huh. So it's a professional, professional right. uh, relationship. So anyway, uh, this one's dedicated to those three guys in Moe's Southwest Grill and Grandma Patrick up in Pennsylvania. Let's do it. Let's let's do some security breach. When last we left off, we were gonna beat this game. So let's let's beat the game so that way we can join all the other cool YouTubers who beat the game. Shall we? Here's the thing though, we're gonna continue this because we're gonna find the lore. Because we know that lore exists and we're gonna find it. Oh, I gotta do this again. Oh, it's been so long. I forgot about about all this. We gotta run to the exit, don't we? And we gotta upgrade him. Oh, it's so weird that you can't save it after the upgrade. All right. Well, we gotta do Simon says yet again, Matt. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what my. I should have probably asked my grandma what she thinks about FNAF. Because presumably, if she's watching all the GT lives, yeah. Presumably, she's watching this. She's watching us right now. Does she know about Fazgu? <laughs> Does I just, who doesn't know about Fazgu at this point, right? Does she know about Fazgu? Don't be silly, man. Fasco is the most important thing in the franchise. Of course, she knows Fasco. All right, so let's 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 beat the game this time. Let's let's get the ending. Can we do that? Is that a thing? One of the things that I do want to. 
call out is the fact that he, he's, he's getting worse. Like, when he started the game, he did not look nearly this rough around the edges, right? Like, but you look at Freddy now, and he's real beat up. Recharge stations are offline. Um, but, like, throughout the game, he's been looking more and more beat up, which is strange to me. Um, and I'm assuming that's a lore thing and not just, like, a weird graphical decision that the game has done. But it is something that I've definitely noticed and something that feels important in some way. Unless he's just gotten really dirty by walking around the Pizza Plex, because the Pizza Plex is just gross and disgusting. Which could also be a thing, who knows. Just gotta get to that front. Just gotta get to the front. Aren't there other ways to escape? Oh wait, this is that way. Oh man. We've been gone for like three days and I've forgotten the layout of the pizzeria. No! To be fair, I've never known where we are. <laughs> Wait, we did all this and we just circled around. We literally just circled around. <laughs> Damn it! Oh, what a crucial mistake that was. We're, we're so done. It's over. It's over, man. We should just restart right here. Why am I even trying? Why even bother? Unlike time in every other instance in this game, where 15 minutes is literally like three hours of gameplay, uh, I think here the time actually matters. But hey, you know what? I like this time. I appreciate that we've gotten a chance to reacquaint ourselves with how this game operates. It's a warm up. This was, this was our warm up today. We're See, 559. Look, he can't catch us. We're in, we're in an elevator. He can't get us. You know what time it is? The doors are open. Why are you still here? Uh, cause I got lost. Gotta be honest, Fanny. I got lost. Not, not gonna lie. <laughs> True story. Got a little disoriented. It's been a while. I think you deserve Go check the main stage. If I summon Freddy here, do you think Freddy can protect me from the security guard? I don't think he can. From the, the yeah, there it is. So now we know. Hey, good warm up, everyone. You could probably trim that one. <laughs> you could probably afford to trim that one. Also, could probably afford to trim us doing Simon Says again. Damn it. Here. Welcome see on the other side of this one for the because no one needs to see us do this four times okay this is it final run we're making it out this is it we played simon says the requisite number of times please don't get me please don't get me please don't get me I, you shouldn't here we go come back soon nope peace and out peace and out peace and out peace and out yeah superstar no I cannot exit this facility. Of course you can. Come on. You can <laughs> Trust me, I've seen uh, animatronics out in the real world all the time. Station, my systems would shut down within an hour. It is a safety precaution. It is my design. <laughs> oh, is that Freddy? This Freddy's? is where I must stay. Do not return. Aww. It will never be safe. I will miss you. Oh, what a, what a good I guy. If I leave now, nothing will change, will it? There will be more disappearances. Uh -huh. Yes, I am afraid that is correct. <laughs> I like Where that friend just knows this stuff. Have a choice to oh, make. wait. The door is open and you can go. <laughs> you or can go. You can continue to investigate the secrets of the pizza plex. I feel there is something else going on besides Fanny. Huh. Warning, save stations will no longer be available if you stay. If Gregory is caught, it's game over. <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> oh no. Nope, you know what? Someone else's problem. Peace out. This is gonna give us the bad ending, right, Matt? Um, perhaps. Yeah, perhaps, yeah, okay, yeah. Save stations no longer have to Nah, nah, hard out. Peace. See ya. <laughs> See ya, bud. I like that we entered comic book style now, okay. There I go, I'm running. Getting out. Later that night, what is leaking out in this city? The toxic gas, forget the disappearances at the local pizzeria. Let's talk about the toxic gas that's being infused into the atmosphere from this place. Local residents continue to disappear. Oh 
on, Vanny comes and gets me. So Vanny can leave. One star! It's probably what I deserve, let's be honest. Five Nights at Freddy's. Dread Unit. Glamrock Freddy, Sun Moon, Vanessa Glamrock. Good for Kellen, Montgomery Gator, Additional VO, Gregory, Vanny, Roxanne, Staff. Staff bots as themselves. Sure, all right. Huh. So that was uh, pretty, uh, uh, you know, inconclusive as an ending. Like, kind of just, just ended there. It, obviously, we got to go back in. I don't love this mechanic. So you have to finish everything else in the game one and done. That's what it seems like. Good thing you're an expert gamer who studies this franchise. Is there no... T so am I going to have to do the stupid Simon Says minigame every time I restart a run of this thing? Because the last save... You can't save after you do that last upgrade to Freddy. I feel like maybe it'll auto-save you after that. There's got to be a way, yeah, right? You gotta. they're making you do Simon Says every time. There's no way I'm doing Simon Says every time, right? A shell in the pit. That sounds that sounds like a Fazbear Frights episode. A shell in the pit. I don't know what that means, but cool. Oh, oh, these are the songs. I guess these are the songs that happen in the game. Uh, okay, so that's ending one of Security Breach. We did it finally. A week after it was relevant, but whatever. <laughs> we did it. Now I just want to go back to the mini golf game and do the, the mini golf and figure out what the code is there. Because I guarantee there's something there. I, my theory senses are strong. Have you been keeping up with the comments in that video? No. What are what do the comments say? Apparently people have been trying. Oh, really? Nobody's found anything yet. But people have, like, really been trying. And have they made it? Like, have they gotten the, like, five strokes, three strokes, nine strokes, whatever the it is? The comment I'm six... talking about specifically. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if they tried that, but they people have been trying, like... All hole in ones, or like. Oh, you're talking about DJ Sturf's comment. So DJ that Sturf. Was DJ Sturf. DJ okay. Sturf, yeah, our our boy DJ Sturf, who for those of you who don't know, amazing channel, amazing guy. Uh, he was on our Saint Jude live stream last year. Um, he is a speedrunner of FNAF, and like if you've never seen his speedruns of FNAF VR, it's actually phenomenal. Uh, it's so cool to see that game get like torn to shreds. Um, but. He's incredibly talented. He's also one of the go-to kind of like beta testers that uh, Scott historically used. Um, but what I would say is, I saw his comment and he said he did all holes in one. He glitched the game to get zero. He glitched the game to get 1987 and kind of all relevant times and, and numbers. But he didn't do the number code that we saw in the Mylar balloons. So I think that that's it. Uh, that being said, I want to, obviously we're not going to stop there. Uh, initial feedback, I'm hopeful that more happens or gets explained or is seeded out as we dig deeper into it. Because if that's just the bad ending, you know, they're obviously going to do just surface level stuff. It doesn't really take, again, it's important to remember, this game started with Gregory literally coming out of nowhere. And just being like, I'm inside your cake hole, Freddy. And that's weird. And I... I I've seen, I have seen people online talk about how Gregory is, you know, oh, he's just a random kid who's homeless, which he is clearly not. He's important. And in fact, he's probably important enough that Vanny sought him out after the fact, like we see her shadow reappear. So I'm hopeful that as we continue deeper into this game, that there will be a chance to see like how important he is. So autosave. Okay. You can continue to investigate the safe station will no longer be active. I feel there is something else going on besides Vanny. But there's also Vanny. Like, we haven't really... Like, it's... And it's weird. This is weird to me. And maybe this is something that, like, a, a, a change in the game or something like that. But even Freddy calling out Vanny. At no point does Freddy come into contact with Vanny. Right? I'm sorry. I'm, I'm trying to think through this in real time. Because... When he, the first time the killer, the, you know, the killer in the bunny outfit appears, she's skipping past in the recharge station and Freddy doesn't see her. Like, Gregory's like, did you see that creepy bunny? And Freddy's like, there's no bunny here, not anymore, which is a reference to Bonnie not being here anymore, which in and of itself is a whole nother mystery. 
And so the fact that he's acknowledging Vanny's ex- and also when uh, when our guy has been caught, when Gregory has been caught, like when he was taken to the security office and stuff, Freddie isn't there. So it's weird that Freddie in this moment is addressing the Vanny situation when he's been very disconnected from it. And Vanny honestly has been this kind of like not really seated out all that much. So it's it's odd. Like I don't know if that's just like a writing thing and they needed Freddie to explain stuff or if there is a connection there or if he's meant to be disconnected from her in some way. That seems odd to me. But his acknowledgement that she exists when up to this point in the game, he, Vanny and Freddie have almost existed in like two exclusive spheres uh, seems important to me. So anyway, okay, we'll stay. Party passes. Give party passes staff bots to unlock areas of the pizza plex. So do I have to find more? Staying? I am glad. Here, ha! I found this party pass. Oh, okay. Areas we have not Thanks, Fred. Lead the way, superstar. Thanks, Freddy. You were, he was holding out on me the whole time. He's like, oh, here's a critical lore thing that you couldn't use before. Uh, that you had to, like, jump through all these holes to, to use. So, to your point earlier, though, Matt, who's around to get... I mean, Chica's still around, because we haven't destroyed Chica. But, like... Do I need to be afraid of things getting me at this point? Because, I mean, Monty's not much of a threat at this point. You would, th you would think not. I'm sure. I'm sure. Here's the thing. I'm sure that they'll like insert him into places and he'll like jump scare me. I like. I have no doubt about that. But like, are animatronics even active now? Oh, because it's past six a.m. too. Because it's also six. Yeah, it's past six a.m. I hate that. I will say with my, okay, so we cannot go through that way. I was wondering if we could get through there, so we cannot. Um, I mean, there's a lot, there's a lot of things that we can do. Uh, we can go back to that area that was glitched out before. Let's oh, get... I saw people asking you to do that specifically. The, oh, what the? Um, to go back to the area that we glitched through. The where floor. we wormholed, mm -hmm. the, the wormhole area. Mm -hmm. Find out how to decommission Chica. Use party pass to access phaser blast. I want to do phaser blast. That seems like fun. I know that you're like, eh, fans are blast. I'll allow it. J will you, though? <laughs> I might cut it out. Decommission Chica. That would be so mean. That would be mean. That would be mean. <laughs> like, why would you do that? We would have to probably have a talking to about your, your job performance. Control. Yeah, your creative control over these episodes at that point. Like, I don't know what you are. Like, I've been popping in here and there to see, like, you know, what cold opens you've been using and stuff. Yeah. But if you're, like, chopping out huge chunks of the game, we might have to, might have, to have a talk. Uh, you know, on our way to get there, let's uh, let's check out some things real quick. So, at the very beginning of the game, we couldn't access any of this. So, let's just quickly check it out. So, this was lost and found. This was where Vanny attacked us for the first time. Let me charge up my flashlight. Because we could use that. Uh, anything here? It doesn't really seem to be... There is a security level do four door here. Ooh, which leads back here. Uh-huh, into a little, little surprise right here. Oh, cupcake pinata. Very nice. Um, so I will say that I think what we do is we try to get rid of Chica, right? We know that there are specific doors that are gated by Chica. So I think we should use those, or we should decommission her, get the last, what I'm assuming, the last upgrade to Freddy, at which point then, really there should be no animatronics posing a threat to us, and in addition, we'll be able to open every door in the game, presumably. Right? Does that sound like a good plan? Uh, yeah. And along the way, we can kind of clear out stuff. So this is the whole opening of the game area. There wasn't a whole lot from the get-go that I'm that was like locked, right? We were able to get through everything. We were able to get the gifts over in Glamrock Gifts. We were able to go downstairs. There wasn't anything there. I do want to check out the daycare before we go and just clear that out because um, I know that that was a popular section. So at this point, it's kind of free roam, which is also cool. Like, this is the part I've been ex excited, and I'm mean, not the part I've been specifically excited about because I didn't know what was coming, but I mean, okay, so like he, he caught me, but what? There's nothing. Ooh, yeah, secret lore that we missed. 
Nice! This is gonna reveal everything, Matt. Recycled pizza! Oh, the pizza we ordered was weird. Some pieces were different sizes. This is the reference to Chuck E. Cheese. Did you recycle the old pizza from the trash? Thanks, Karen! No, we did not recycle pizza. We used just an awkward chopper. Trust us, there's this amazing channel called Food Theory that looked into exactly that thing. And they can tell you for a fact that that is what's going on. Glamrock. So, if it's not going to save... Yes. Is there... Are we going to lose the things that we collect? These are all... You know what, Matt? These are all great questions. And that's called upping the stakes. I don't know if you're aware of what the developers are doing in this moment, but what they're doing is upping the stakes of us losing in this game. I do worry a lot about what actually happens, though, as far as collectibles and lore bits and messages and... Presumably not, right? Because at some point, unless you're just doing like a, a perfect run of every collectible ever... I think you just stared straight into the face of a present and didn't pick it up. This is one that we had already gotten. Where? To right. Turn around. Yep. That's one to see the springs. We got that one. That was a, a that was a plush baby something or other. Right. Okay. Come on, Matt. Listen, I'm say, gonna be say, no, no, I appreciate it. Let's. This is the time. See, look, I'm staring in the face of this present. This 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 floaty present right here. Staring in the face of that one. It looks like that one's been opened already, and also has defied all laws of known physics. <laughs> um. Okay. So I think that's the last of those little party rooms. So that's good. So we're done with that section. I just want to, before we leave this opening atrium, I want to make sure that we've done everything that we can back here. Uh, we did rush through this section the last time because we had had to do it multiple times. So let's make sure we've picked up everything back here. Um, but yeah, clearly the main game and kind of the bulk, the meat of the game, right, is in that big atrium area, that main section where all the individual mini games are and this and that. So before we move to that area, I just want to make sure that kind of things around the daycare area, things around the kind of like whole intro sequence of the game is just cleared out and that we haven't missed anything. Because also, oh, a lot of times, Because uh, also a lot of times, people will, like game developers, just from my experience playing games, they'll hide some good stuff at the beginning, because it's easy to forget, but it's also the part of the game where, you know, you have literally nothing, so by hiding stuff there, you know, these two. so by hiding, st by hiding stuff there, it, hold up. So you notice this? Yes. What do you notice, Matt? I, 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 I like that you said yes, so uh, I'm going to quiz you on it. What, what do you notice? No, his eyes. Right, his glowing. eyes. Well, because they were glowing when you took a... When we took a picture of him. Mm -hmm. So... That wasn't the case, though. Remember? We took a pic... Like, when we first saw this poster, there was not glowing eyes. Right. But then we took a picture of the one... In Music Man. Yes. And, and so now... There. In, in Music Man's... Uh, Hole, hole, his hole, yes. his, his hole, uh, and then it's with Princess Quest Two, mm -hmm. and it, it started to activate. So this, to me, says, "Hey, take photos, yeah, of these guys." I know the one, the uh, swashbuckling Freddy. He's in the rehearsal room. Oh, you mean take photos of all of? Them? I think to yeah, mm. that's what this tells me. Should we go find him? I think I, as we as we kind of. Yeah. run around, I think that's what we have to do. The Mermaid Chica, I don't think I've seen. And I feel like I saw the Foxy. Mm. And he was upside, oh, he was upside down somewhere. Uh, he was upside down in the back of, where was he? We saw him briefly. Shoot. Where was upside down Foxy? Do you remember, Matt? Not at all. Okay. Way to not pay attention during everything that we're doing Again, here. I have a lot of other things that I need to look at. <laughs> yeah? What are you looking at right now, Matt? You're looking at my face right now is what you're doing. I, there are like eight monitors that I'm looking at right now. <laughs> Only three of them show relevant information. I love that Matt, spoiler alert for what's happening behind the camera right now, Matt is hyping up that he's looking at all these monitors. But the actual number of things 
that are currently relevant. Listen, it's a full <laughs> it's a full time job. It is. No, I'm I'm giving you a hard time. Uh, you do you do excellent a lot work. Of knobs, a lot of virtual knobs. There are a lot of why are there so here, Matt, you're yeah. as DJ as DJ Matt. Yes. As DJ Music Man back there. Uh -huh. Doctor Music. Yeah. Uh what what are all the knobs? There's so many knobs so many on knobs. every single soundboard in oh, known mankind. Oh, here's a fun little trick. Please. Um, none of the knobs mean anything. <laughs> hmm. Some, something tells me that might not be true, Matt. Well, they... So, <laughs> they don't like, mean... Okay. There's a lot of knobs. Yeah. Three of them on any given soundboard... Yes. ...control the high, middle, and low frequencies. Okay. That means nothing. Really? Because unless you're mixing music, yes, you're not using those. Okay. So when you look at like a soundboard, and yes. there's like thousands of knobs. There's so many knobs on every soundboard a, I've ever seen. A bulk of those, if you're just recording somebody speak. Where? What? Who, no one was active. Well, now we know that we want to stay. We have this party pass. Here, Let's see if I lost some things. So I had a glam rock figure, right? Oh, we had a pinata. And a pinata. Mm -hmm. Cupcake pinata. Or as you said, pinata. Pinata. The pinata. All right. Let's see. Inventory. Where is the pinata? There is... It was the cupcake pinata. Yeah. Right? Are they are, are these arranged in any sort of order? Uh, we had a glam rock figure as well, glam rock Freddy figure, which we do not have. So yeah, you lose your collectibles too. Oof. That's big oof. That's big oof right there. Right? Cause oh yeah, no. Look, if I look over here, it's still there. See it? Ooh, that's. That's anti-bueno. All right. So that means what? What does that tell us, Matt? That tells us that we need to be careful. Uh, that also tells us... Where did that animatronic... Like, I know that they're, like, active there. But it didn't look like anyone was moving. Like, I was trying to keep an eye out. That's a dangerous area, all of a sudden. Was the Freddy... Was the Foxy cutout back there? I feel like the Foxy cutout was back there. I think we gotta check back there one more time. And maybe we use Freddy to do it. Maybe Freddy's gonna be our best friend here. I think we have to use Freddy a lot, is, is the moral of this story. Come on, bud. Let's recharge you and see if you can recharge. There's so many unanswered questions that we have at this point, so let's start answering some of these questions. So he's at three battery life. Let's see if these recharge stations work now. Oh, <laughs> yes, clearly, clearly that worked and it's 6 a.m. And we cannot save our spot, okay. So, we're learning, we're growing. It's nice being high up. It is, actually, the, the view, the view difference is palpable, actually, it's, it's very nice. Um, so he still loses battery power, that's good to know. The bag that we had missed is there. Okay, there's the bag. And wasn't the Glamrock figurine as well close? And the only reason I'm getting that is just because I know that this... Who knows? Is there 100% completion? Who knows? Who knows at this point? Like, what is the goal <laughs> outside of, you know, move the story forward? Um, there. Those were the two that we missed. And then we can boot through here. It does suck that even if I clear out this area, there's no, like, there's no way of saving any of the progress that we're doing. So they won't see us. We also never explored downstairs all that much. There's a lot. He loses batteries pretty quickly. Oh, but yeah, we can see everything. <gasps> what am I doing with myself? Of course I should be using him. I can see all the secrets now. So why am I even bothering to explore? I can just look in a direction. So there's a box back there that we've missed. Here, and since I want to save you, 
I'm going to actually bring you down here because I don't want to deal with those endoskeletons. So let's wait for this guy to pass. And then we'll use Freddy as kind of our get out of jail free card for this bottom section. That's what we're going to call him. Freddy get out of jail free card. Which endoskeleton was active? Or did I just get too close to him? Did I get too close? Who was it? Oh, hello. Is that someone? Did I... Did someone attack me? Yeah, yes, it was back here. Yes, this is him, right, right, right? I knew it! Oh, okay, so that should be two, which means, and we know where the one is. He's in the rehearsal room. I know that for a fact. I remember that very distinctly because I'm like, that's an unusual cutout, um, which means that there's one other, we got to find Chica. And I don't know where Mermaid Chica is, because, again, I feel like I would have remembered that if I had seen it. And because I don't want to get jump scared by any of the things down here, it looks like we've been pretty thorough down here, so I think we're good. I think we just piece our way out of here. That's cool! So that's two. I think this, I think this then becomes our goal. Let's figure out, oh, low power. Okay. Interesting. I wonder what that's leading to. That's That's got to, like, do some weird secret unlock, right? Hey, bud. Can I... I cannot see. Oh, Freddy can't see either. Huh. I'm blinded Freddy, too. I feel kind of bad about that. Uh, what's down here at the lower level? We've got a bunch of security things. Okay, we've got a little... We've got some lore right here. Boop. And what's this lore all about? Let's see. This is... Maintenance log. The BB World game has has been acting up. Oh, I think we did read this one. Balloon Boy World has been acting up. Customers have complained that it starts to glitch over time. I headed to the theater to fix it, and now it's gone. I never saw a move request. So it's... I headed to the theater to fix it, and it's gone. I never saw a move request, so it should still be in there somewhere. I guess I'll fix it after the company meeting. Okay, so... We've got two on. So obviously there is the like, hey, let's continue. Ooh, hello. Let's continue the, the the gameplay. We still have to beat Chica, right? But there's also kind of to me almost the more exciting thing and the thing that I'm still questioning here, which is what is the arcade cabinets? Because we saw Princess Quest two, and they said, oh, there's you know, multiple Princess Quests, or like the Princess Quest minigame hasn't been working or whatever. Like, the arcade cabinets, I really want to solve what's going on with those. Because I really do believe that there's stuff happening there. So let's... And we have the mystery door as well. So we've got a door that we've got to figure out, and we've got... We've got a door that we got to figure out, and we've got a... a bunch of arcade cabinets that we want to find. Here's those Mylar balloons. Do you think, can we interact with these at all? Oh, <gasps> wait, 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 wait. Uh, what if, weird idea, and this is, this is again, this is, welcome to the end game, where yes, we can continue on, and I know that other channels have like done however many endings there are. I, again, I try to stay blind to it. Um, what, because it allows me to stay like neutral towards my own solutions. So we have the arcade cabinets with Princess Quest and Monty Gator. The Monty Gator code, 6369553192, they're on Mylar balloons. What if we get the Faz Blaster little gun and you shoot the balloons in that order? Yeah, I mean... <laughs> Matt is like, sure. you could. Well, And uh, what? But also, notice the balloons are certain colors right i know i'm noticing that two four and five are different which is weird mm -hmm. right this feels odd to, these feels as someone who has dealt with a lot of codes and args and things that feels suspicious i agree the fact that two four and five are different is very strange what if i flash them since since the camera 
seems to be connected to solving whatever that door thing is. Um, and we gotta keep an eye out for any creepy looking mermaid chicas, because we need that. Uh, anything back here? No. And then, can I get... Huh! Requires item. The ATM. That's different. So, at the beginning of the game, we had the, at the beginning of the game, they gave us the Gregory, Hi or not the Gregory, the, the Hippo, Mr. Hippo Magnet, which we put on the ATM and it spat out a party pass, right? Or no, it spit out the daycare pass. I know that we have collected, or at least maybe we died after we collected them, but I know that we've collected other magnets. I love that the invent I love that miscellaneous is literally everything that we've collected. Like, here's all these other categories of stuff that you can collect, but literally everything falls on <laughs> Like clothes. You would think that, you know, the t-shirt and the t-shirt and the t-shirt would qualify as clothes. Nah. No. You want those? But haven't we I swear we found a magnet we've at one point. We have a magnet. Right? Don't we? So Does I wonder... I tell you what they are? Oh, here we go. Freddy Magnet. Yeah. Monty Magnet. Chica Magnet. So I wonder if there are ATMs. God, okay, so I've got balloons. So here's my list. Here's my list of things as we do this post-game that we need to look into. Yeah. So Princess Quest mm -hmm. and arcade cabinets in general. We have the, uh, the Pirates... Like the pirates, the, the the pirate stuff that we need to do, and we need the the balloons, something with the balloons. Mm -hmm. And now I'm writing down ATMs and magnets, because maybe there are ATMs in like Chica's section, in Monty's section, in Freddy's section, and so those are the magnets that you need to use in order. Because the fact that it's like, hey, this requires an item, yeah, that's suspicious. I and think you're onto something, right? And it feels like. Maybe that maybe that's how we get other party passes. Mm. Uh, maybe that's how you unlock more of the game. Which one did Freddy give us? What party? He just gave us a general party pass, so I believe. We can use that anyway. So we can use that anywhere, okay. which would be I think we go what Fazer Blast first. Yeah, we need the gun. Right, I think we need the gun to do stuff. We need a gun. Yeah, we do. I, although I will say the camera is totes op. I love the camera so much. It is still my favorite thing in all of mankind. <laughs> favorite the the faz cam but, but look look at this the, the game can we take a selfie is still afoot ooh let me take a selfie no i'm just a floating ghost ha, ha. i'm just a ghost uh so we also need to charge up well okay we're, we'll also see if we can charge up freddy right now right cuz that's the other question that we haven't really solved is whether or not we can actually charge this guy um Here's them. Boop, boop, boop. All right. And again, like I'm avoiding these guys, but do I do I need to? Is it gonna summon someone? We know that we can be jump scared by the endoskeletons, but outside, again, outside of the endoskeletons, who else is active? Like, we know Chica is because we haven't decommissioned her, but does it change? I'm so there's there's a lot there's a lot here, Matt. We're gonna be busy. You strapped in? Strapped. Got your adult diapers on? Cause we ain't going to potty for a long time. I forgot mine. Let's see. I'll just you know make do. Did that charge him? It did. Yeah, buddy. Okay, so Freddy is a regular thing that we can use now. So that's cool. That gives us some level of protection against whatever unknown threats exist in this part of the game. Uh, cool. Chica. Where, is, where are we going to find a Chica? Um, I know there's a lot of sections that we haven't explored in kind of the main atrium area, so let's let's head on over there. Let's see what we got. And also, that'll probably be on the way to Fazer Blast, which is... Do we know where Fazer Blast is? Have we encountered that? Yeah, we've seen it. We've seen it, right? It's, 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 there's a sign for it. Yeah. Okay. Also, I, I know where the cutouts are. If you... you know... Wait! 
You were so excited. You, you knew. No, I, I Googled it. Oh, you Googled in it? In the time that we were, yeah. When, uh, wandering around, mm -hmm. me rambling incessantly about this game and like writing all my notes on my little notepad. Yeah, you gave me some time. Okay. <laughs> wow. No what? No wonder Markiplier's videos get millions of views. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm just like slowly pontificating over here. Uh, okay. So, I know that one's in the rehearsal room. And that rehearsal room is accessible. Uh, where's that rehearsal room? Oh, that's in the Rockstar, uh, right off of Rockstar Row. Here, let me get that real quick. Let's, let's solve the door. Let's let's approach it in a focused way. Okay. Let's solve the door. So, if you know where they are, I can get us to I can get us to one of them that I know for sure. Where's the other one? Um, it or, is in Monte Golf. It's in Monte Golf. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good to know. Wait, I, I was nowhere close to, but fine. Can anyone get me? Huh. So really, they really can, it seems like. They're, these guys are still active, but there's not a whole lot that's going on from them. Okay, here's some ATMs. See, and these ATMs do not active. They, they do not activate. They do not say, like, hey, you need, a, you need a pass. So, or you need an item. So, maybe we're on to something. That only specific ones. Here's a Monty Gator one. No. Yeah, so maybe there are only certain ATMs give us party passes. So that's a possibility. Meanwhile, over here, trash cans, got a bunch of merch. Every good franchise has a ton of merch. We're going for that back area. Where's the rehearsal room? Rehearsal room was... And you would think like Vanny or someone, like, cause Vanny isn't decommissioned. Like she's still an active participant in this game. You would think that she would be chasing us or something, but no, I guess not. Uh, rehearsal room, I think is here. Is that? Yeah, 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 this is it. Perfect. I have to like reverse the way that we went through here. Uh, and I believe he's at the front. So here we go. So that's three. And you're saying the last one is Monty Golf? Yeah. Okay. So that's three. Do you know what's on the other side of that door? Of what door? The, the, the other side of that poster. Like, I'm like what happened? I'm, I'm, I'm assuming, yeah, I'm assuming yeah. that there's like a secret room back there, right? Um, do you want to know? I mean, do you do? But you do. You know, something that happens. Something yeah, happens. Okay. Sure. Is it is it worth it? As someone that knows very little, like it totally could be. And <laughs> <laughs> You're like, no, it's not. Well, to mine, listen. Yeah. As an outsider. Yeah. None of this makes sense. Uh, you know, hey, you're not an out. Hey, I know I gave you a hard time for a while. You're not an outsider. You know, Fazgu. Aww. You know Fazgu. I'm a part of the group. You, you sat through a huge chunk of this game. <laughs> Most of it. In fact, yeah. Okay. As a novice. As a novice. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Here. Okay, so this is... Ooh, this is a second... Wait. Is that it? No, that's not it. Hold up. This is, so we have, this is Pirate Cove. We haven't been to Pirate Cove yet. Weird, and then you got this big, and hold up. This, this isn't it. I'm just gonna take pictures of, yeah, okay. Um, we haven't been to Pirate Cove. So this is a whole section that we haven't even seen. Banned. Are we just all banned from Pirate? Pirate Cove is no longer a thing. Banned. Roxy. Sorry, before we dig deeper into Monty, I just wanted to check this area out. Cause we have, ooh, hello. Ooh, hello, cause we haven't been down here. Huh, look at this. So it feels like, oh, and there's a TV. And he's, oh, weird, weird. So it feels like this is moon plushie. Okay. So this to me feels like someone's living. Was this Gregory? Maybe Gregory was living in the pizza plex, right? Cause look, he's got a TV. He's got a bunch of food and snacks. He's got his popcorn buckets. He's like, so he's entertaining himself. 
And he's got a bunch of clothes either to sleep on or to like live in. From a meta commentary standpoint, or like from a, like telling us the story of the game through the scene, this feels like someone's living here and presumably the only person it would be would be Gregory, right? What do you think, Matt? Use your, using our context clues, what yeah, do you I get? Mean, someone's definitely living in there. Right, living in this part of the... Because, the, I mean, there's clothes. There's clothes, right, and it's laid out. He, there's a t Why would there be a TV down there? That's suspicious. Moon plushie. And then you always, uh, one thing, again, in lore hunting, you always just got to be aware of is, like, the placement of specific items. Like, usually, oh, that's it. That's the one, right? Yep. This wasn't really in Monty's Golf. Uh, tell that to itemlevel.net. Well, item level... Wait. Why is Roxy talking to me all of a sudden? I thought Roxy was decommissioned. Is she roaming around just blind? I mean, she could, just like we saw Monty very briefly. Yeah, item... What was it? Item what? Dot net? Uh, item level dot net. Item level dot net! This, this, that's in Pirate's Cove, I think. Not really. I, I wouldn't necessarily say that that was in Monty Gatorland. In their defense, this is near Monty's Golf. Oh, well, you so <laughs> mad? My fault. <laughs> my and 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 thus my fault. I apologize for my assistant over here who has dropped the ball, <laughs> the golf ball. You were you were right. He was clearly mistaken. Uh, real quick, I see some ATMs over here, and we have a Monty magnet, so let's see if there's a Monty magnet thing that works here. Does not appear to. Okay. I'm real suspicious about this magnet thing. Is that just a glitch? Maybe it's a glitch. Maybe it's like a, hey, if you approach any ATM in the opening area of the game, it'll prompt you for an item. Maybe that's it. I don't know. Here, I don't... I don't know where Roxy is. I don't know if she's active. I have no idea. So I'm going to summon you just to be safe because I know I can recharge you at the daycare center. So let's let's check out whatever we just did. He's in rough shape, dude. Right? He's, he's looking. He looks bad. He's seen better days yeah. for sure. Which again, at the beginning of the game, he was pristine. He like if you think back to when we first saw him, yeah. he was totally fine. So the fact that he's looking rougher as the game goes on seems to indicate that, like, something else is happening to him, right? Like, he's losing abilities or something, or he's being affected by some exterior force. Or he's just gotten dirty, and textures have popped in after the fact. I mean, that's a possibility, too. Hey, bud. Right, but look at him. Yeah. I mean, who are we to comment on his appearance? Uh, as, I mean as the person who's been there with him for the last six hours of as official in-game time. Friend. Yeah, as a friend. Yeah, right, as, a, as the human who chooses his cake hole to hide within. You know, I feel like that gives us some level of, you know, ability to comment. Yeah. Kids Cove, we were in Kids Cove. So Kids Cove, okay. Uh, sure, I'll, I'll hop into you, bud. Why not? Let's recharge you at the front of the daycare center and then get to the daycare center. Are we controlling Freddy? Or are we just inside of him? <laughs> is the Kool-Aid man the the outside glass or is he the liquid inside of him? Did we do an episode about that? We did, actually. We, we determined that it is the glass. Wow. That Kool-Aid man isn't, in fact, the glass. So, now you know. He's not the glass? No, he is the glass. Okay. The liquid inside of him is arbitrary. I like that it still reminds me that it's 6 a.m. <laughs> Time has not passed. We have survived this long, but time has not passed. Here, I'm going to save you because I can run past these guys easily. I say, and then I'm going to immediately get caught by them. Okay, there we go. Um, and it's on the second floor, so let's do second floor. Walk. I'm going to splash you. Ah, poop. I swear I was going to flash him and then for some reason... Oh, it's because I got out of Freddy. Every time you get out of Freddy, you have to reload your item, which is not a mechanic that I love. Okay, so we've flat. Oh my gosh, come on. Let's leave me alone. Welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Fazbear Theater. Now enjoy the comedy stylings of... Oh, Staffbot. I actually wish Staffbot told jokes. I think that would be a delightful moment of game... 
Why are you here if you don't have any relevance? Okay. We've got all of them. Oh! Oh, it opens. Okay. So it was a door. Oh, what's inside? A trash can! Lore! <laughs> Music man! Oh, they're all oh, leaky, leaky pipes. I don't know. Ooh, hello. What is this? Oh, weird. So a disassembled staff bot. Um, some endo parts. Anything in the little house here? No. Some more. It looks like it looks like a jet pack, uh, but I'm assuming it's like endoskeleton. Oh yeah, it's like so. Dis a lot of disassembled staff bots. And this is. I mean, this one's been beat up, kind of like torn apart, like ripped to shreds. Who would do this? Uh, okay. I know. Oh, this is where the sun and moon guys are. So this is sun and moon guys' house. Or at least this is where they come from. Oh wow, I can actually stand up here? Weird. I don't want to go in because I know it's off limits at this point. I'm afraid I'll get like stuck down there. And I'm assuming that the fact that I glitched through that probably means I'm not supposed to be able to do that. So we're going to just say no to any of this. But you see, okay, so we're disassembling a bunch of these guys. Is there no, like, collectibles? I'm not seeing any presents or anything. Uh, okay, there's more. Huh. So there's F Freddy and me. Monty with eyes X'd out. Oh, no, no, that's not his X'd out. I think those are his sunglasses, the stars. What? Is this... This is where Gregory lives, maybe? No, camera didn't do anything. Is this Gregory's home? He's got a cupcake tin. That's cool. He's making his own cupcakes. He's got a healthy... What is that? It is drawn to sound... It is drawn to sound. What? It's drawn to sound. Here, here, here's a lore. This might do it. And who do we who do we unlock over here? What's this? Golden Moon. Here. Arcade conspiracy. Okay, see the arcade I'm telling you, these arcade cabinets. They're working together, the arcades. They're hiding something. The glitches. Glitch them all at the same time, then the princess will recognize me. Princess Quest. She's testing me. I'm not yet worthy. The others are protecting it. Let me stay. I'm so close. Just one more night, please. I can save the princess. So this is Princess Quest, and I'm assuming the princess, say I can save the princess means I can save Vanny, which is a theory that we had a long time ago, that like there's going to be multiple endings, and that one is if you save Vanny, and one is if you don't, right? Like, because she is the reluctant follower, right? She's been brainwashed by glitch traps. So the arcade cabinets seem to be tied to helping Vanny. The glitches glitch them all at the same time, and the princess will recognize me. So if we play the games schedule import pending scheduled import pending so th that's also the missing game right oh balloon boy yeah 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 uh-huh yes 100 percent. balloon balloon world balloon bb world can we play it oh we can hello balloon world okay so another arcade Inflate the balloons. Okay. So it's like Flappy Bird. Can I run on the ground? No, I can't. I cannot. <laughs> du duly noted. That is a that is a hard no. Oh, and you get one up though. Oh, you can't go to the top either. Good to know. Oh, shoot. 
you know that there's lore here somewhere, right? Because they, they also said, can you get a party hat? Is that a good thing? That is a good thing. Okay. One up. Woo! Got bonus life. Oh, there's nighttime. I'm noticing the bo the bottom losing texture every once in a while. Like you'll notice the the, the right there. You see how the graph. And I don't know if that's intentionally like just the asset is incomplete and needs to kind of like recycle. No, or that's, that seems intentional. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. You're kidding. No. Nope. But the thing is, I can't. Oh, you can't like reach. It, I, can you? No, I can't go back. I'm lo I'm locked in my screen position. I wonder if you get 1987 on this, if that does something. <laughs> like, you got a perfect 1987 as a score. Right? It does feel like there's something under the surface, though. Here, I can't get that. That's too dangerous. There's something here. So if we unlock all the arcade cabinets, we save Vanny, is basically what they're saying. And this is a good thing, okay. Can I go into this? This looks like something I can go into. No, it is not. That is, that is a complete, completely wrong assessment on my part. Good to know. Okay. Got the moon. Something's gonna happen here at some point, right? There must be. One up gives us an extra balloon. Watch out for the bats. Just waiting for it. I do wonder about 1987 though. Or can you like beat this in some capacity or is it gonna glitch out on me? Cause the moon, the moon's being kind of freaky back there. Like he's kind of jittery. Boop, thousand points, yay. I mean the sun isn't any better. He's also just freakish and horrific. And also the, the mountains are glitching out right now. Gotta be something here. Shoot, I should have gotten it. I should have tried to get that. Oh no, now we're in the true Flappy Bird section. Good, okay. I'm looking, because it said it was glitching out, right, Matt? It, the, yeah. the, um, the it email. It did to glitch them all out at the same time. It did say to glitch them all out at the same time, which was weird. How, but how can you do, like, I'm assuming that just means you have to, like, glitch each individual one. Yeah, it seems like it's permanently six o'clock. Yeah, exactly, like once, which in, which in and of itself is a whole other can of worms that we gotta address here. Forget time traveling ball pits. Let's talk about like time freezing just in life, period. We did nothing to do that. I'm expecting, is this, is, does this have an ending? Like, I mean, this feels like an infinite runner kind of thing. Like we can do this forever. Anything? There's some purple. Shoot. Okay, we can't collect the purple. Shoot, now we gotta like do it again, don't we? There's purple, like it, that was glitching though, right? So maybe if we continue, it glit it continues to glitch? That was suspicious. I, I, saw, I saw stuff there. That was, I am, my curiosity is aroused. What you got, game? Where are we going with this? We're gonna save Vanny. We're gonna cure her of her glitch trap ills by playing video games. And for some reason that is going to solve her problems. Maybe it like summons glitch trap or like glitch trap is hidden inside the video games. Like we're assembling the pieces again, which is probably a bad idea. It's also worth noting that, you know, as, as FNAF games have gone on, this isn't an 8-bit mini game. This is like a full 16-bit mini game. Like, long gone are the Atari days of this franchise. We got like some legit stuff now. Oh, damn it. Oh. No! Oh, this sucks. Here, cut this. So, oh, we're in rock zone now. See, the fact that we're changing locations and the, there's, there's another purple. So it's glitching out more as I get deeper into the game, maybe? The fact that we're still like evolving the location that we're in tells me that... Oh, darn. oh no, I need that balloon so badly! Oh no, I've only got one left. No, 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 no. Oh, I don't want to do this. 
takes so long. This takes so long, Matt. It takes so long, Matt. No! No! They see me floating. They hating. Oh, for crying out loud. Oh, for crying out loud. I hate Fargo. Really? Why? Um, I'm not really good at things that I'm bad at. I'm... <laughs> That's deep. Like, I don't take losing very well. Oh, I'm bad at losing. I um, hate losing. So if I'm not immediately perfect... Oh. Yeah. But you... Yeah, I understand when you're good at so many things. And, like, I don't care enough about Flappy Bird to yeah, get good at it. Yeah, to get good at it. Yeah. I don't know, like, Flappy Bird to me, like, I, I know everyone had a hard time, I think, with, like, the, like, you gotta go down to go up me mechanic. Because you, ha you have to be comfortable, like, letting yourself fall yeah. a lot, and I think that makes people uncomfortable. But, yeah, to me, I'm just like, yeah. Temple Run, on the other hand. Yeah, are you a Temple Runner? I burned my retinas playing Temple Run. Like, <laughs> yeah. it's, I, there's constantly, like, a shadow of Temple Run in my vision. <laughs> just just spent so long staring at it. You have the artifacting of <laughs> yes. Temple Run in your, in your in eye retinas. sockets now. Oh, that's hilarious. Yeah, I love that game. There's something so satisfying about, like, the way that it works. It's a great game. Mm -hmm. so oh, it's so like satisfying. Subway Surfers, too. Yep. That whole, you're just running forward and swiping left and right. Yeah, and that's simple. Yeah. That's another one at Dave & Buster's that they have a lot of. Like, there's, mm -hmm. um, like, a Spider-Man game that they have at Dave & Buster's. That's... My favorite Dave & Buster's game, uh, if I'm going to have fun, yeah. it's Mario vs. Sonic at the Olympics. Oh, sure. Uh-huh. If I'm going to win, we're playing Deal or No Deal. <laughs> can you can you win on Deal or No it's Deal? It's got the highest like return. Does it really? Yeah. Cuz like how do you win a Deal or No Deal? You I've never played I've never actually played the Deal or No Deal arcade game. It's it's I, essentially Deal or No Deal. So it's just a bunch of guessing? Yeah, you pick the briefcase at the beginning. So you're very good at guessing is what you're telling me. I'm very good at weighing consequences. Okay. Where it's like Ooh. Uh-huh. If I pick this one and it's not a good one, yeah. then the amount of tickets that I'm going to get is going to go down. Right. Oh, okay. So I know I know when to hop out. Okay. Essentially. You know, yeah, you know when to cut kind of the losses. It's also like a ball and okay. cup type thing. Yeah. Yeah. There's a glitch, but I'm not going to go for it because I don't trust myself to get it in that moment. Okay. So we're, we're going to keep going. Oh, no. No. What an idiot. Oh, I overcorrected. Oh, I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb. See, I can play. I can play Flappy Bird. I can't play BB's Balloon Adventure, clearly. Hey, I think you're doing a great job. At playing the game, not getting the weird glitch that I need to get. I I need to be hitting the glitches, right? It's it's not a... Yeah, no. All that matters is that you hit the glitch. It, I just need to hit the glitch. Like, there's no winning here. No. Okay. Nice. You know, it's so funny that we say that there's no winning here and that I just need to hit a glitch. And at the same time, I'm so compelled to still get a high score. That is how try-hard I am right now. That, that, that is my problem. Is I'm, I'm like, oh, but I can still get the bonus hat that gets me a thousand extra points. That's illness. Is that is that illness? <laughs> is that is, you know you know when they're like at, in job interviews and the classic like the classic yeah. bad answer is I care too much mm -hmm. about my job or whatever. Mm -hmm. I feel like this is people always laugh at that. Like that's not a bad week. Like that you're just saying that to make yourself look good. No, like it, I think it's a legitimate bad quality. Like you have to know when to cut. Yeah. Cut and run, you know? Mm -hmm. I'm not cutting and running right now. There's no cutting, there's no running, there's just floating with my balloon slowly in the air in the middle of Five Nights at Freddy's. There's a glitch, there's a glitch, there's a glitch. Can't get it. Oh! There it is! <laughs> what is this? Oh, up, up, hey, we got a trophy, up, up, and away. So does that mean we, does that mean we did a thing, right? That was weird, Matt. What was that? That was awesome. <laughs> Why did I get kicked out of it? It seemed like it was still going. So it looks like you have to follow that path, I will say. Like, it seemed like there was a very definitive path that we were supposed to follow, and I guess I deviated from it maybe That's too much? what I saw. You saw me deviate? Yep. So even though there was a secret balloon, 
or not a secret balloon, but like an additional balloon that I could have caught in yeah. that moment. I need to stay on the path. Right. Okay, that's good to know. There we go, there we go. Okay, so stay on the path. This is so weird. What is this telling me about the lore right now? This is telling me Glitch Trap is... Oh, no, I was on the path the whole time. Huh. Okay, here we go. So we're on this. Staying on the path. Keeping balloons... Uh, keep, no, I'm off of it. Yeah, okay. Okay, so when Balloon Boy's body is off the path, that's when we, lose, when, when we lost at that time. Because I definitely lost at that time. Okay, here we go, here we go. Oh, jeez, and it drops down. Darn it! Oh, it's not my fault that it was like an impossible path to follow. Ah, come on! There's got to be something at the end of this rainbow, and by rainbow, oh, this is this is an unwinnable situation. Damn it! Ah, oh, shoot! Ah! My hair started as just a casual. I, uh, you know, there's been a lot going on in my life, and now it ends with rage hair. This is just rage hair. Shoot. There's a path, there's an end to the path though, right, Matt? Yes. All right, well, I'll do it again next time we're off camera or something. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. More lore, more weird details, more stuff. Maybe we'll get Fazer Blaster and we'll figure out what the heck's going on with the balloons. I, I'm hopeful that that's what that is. So anyway, and Princess Quest. Those are, again, I have my list. So we'll see you next time for more lore hunting. I, I'm curious what Matt's gonna cut out. See you then! It wasn't a live stream, but it was a video. A video for you. Bye-bye!